to kind of look around what has gone wrong with these schemes. But it is also, I think, um, an attempt to think about why they have gone wrong and what, if anything, has survived of them. Since in some cases there are some interesting little remnants of these schemes. They are not just ruins, there are bits and pieces still surviving. What I want to suggest is that the grand schemes which I will discuss all have certain common characteristics. They've all been very state-directed, they've all revolved around a certain idea of land use, which goes back to a question that Adam asked earlier in the course. Um, and they've all been very top-down and concerned principally with the needs of the state for revenue and for exports in order to pay for imports. So they've all been very pushed along by a particular state agenda, which of course reflects the state's overall concern and sense of itself as a mediating institution between the Sudan and the rest of the world.